Is this what you expected? It's... Well, I don't, I don't know what to expect, to be honest with you, because uh, we're not in control of this, uh, or do we want to be in control of it? I think if this is a people's protest, it has to stay like that. And, you know, I used to phrase before Christmas that uh, this is a sort of a revolution with a small R, and that's, a need, that's the way it needs to stay with a small R. But, you know, we do need to, to, to come together and talk about what the objectives are. We also need to think we need to lift this to a different level, uh, and we need to make sure that uh, you know it's not just about protest; it has to be lifted to a different level. We need we just need to move it on, and as far as we're concerned, we, we have that strategy to move it. Whether protesters want to come with that strategy or not, we'll have to wait and see. But from the from the unionist side, um, there's been quite a lot of violence. Well, I don't think there's been as much violence as there hasn't been violence. You know what I mean? There's been more peace and protest than there has. Uh, and you know, we've been saying it, and I'll say it again, there's no room for violence. The violence is throwing out the message, and those people who are involved in violence, go away, because you're not welcome. That's my point of view. And what is your strategy for moving it forward? Because well, it, it just can't go on forever. It hurts well, the economy, it hurts the city. Yeah. Our, you know, uh, our economy's been hurt for 30 years by the provisional IRA, so you know, we need to be very clear about that. Uh, well, not just the provisional IRA. Well, mostly by the provisional IRA. They were the people who formed the heart of the economic city. Uh, loyalists weren't born in the heart of it. But anyway, that's another argument. But our strategy is three-pronged. The first part is we've put our uh, challenge into UQIA, and we'll continue to do that with the Equality Commission. Uh, we're, hopefully the second bit will be that we'll make a legal challenge to the courts. And the third bit is that we're going to ask people to actually get involved in our... Uh, I suppose our programme of stopping Sinn Féin doing their deep ratification. And do you think it's a solution to fly over the cenotaph? No, it's not a solution in my opinion, uh, but that would be up to the councillors who say it. Uh, I think that the cenotaph represents all British and Irish people who died in the World Wars uh, and they fought on that flag. So that's not an argument for me. And politicising uh, well, politicises World War One and Two, yeah, and it's, and it's the, not... the flag has been put over policemen's coffins in Northern Ireland. The flags have been put over people who have served in Afghanistan and other conflicts uh, in recent years. who come from this island, not just from Northern Ireland, but from the whole island. So I think we, you know, we need to be very, very careful uh, about the Senate about politicising it. I don't want to politicise the Senate I don't see it as an option. What I see it as is a bit of a cop out. Now, you know, let's get back to doing what we're doing. The flag over the Senate should be flagged whenever it's flown. They represent those British troops or those people who fought within the British Army. Uh, this is not an argument. The argument is that what we need to do is that we need to make sure uh, that we challenge us through the equality and we also challenge us through the courts. And finally, what about the leadership in the Protestant communities? Why aren't they able to stop these kids petrol bombing and setting buses on fire? And... Well, I think there's an easy answer to that. I have to pull PEP people off the street here and to try to keep peace. Uh, because they're being accused of orchestrating it. So if they stop it, it'll prove that they were orchestrating it. Now, you know, you know, the equation doesn't work out. So, That's 22. Yeah, well, two and two makes four, but other people will turn it into six. And you know what? It'll not just be Sinn Féin, it'll be other political parties. So what I'm saying to you is, uh, that's why it's not happening. Uh, because I'm not going to get the Progressive Union's party to blame, or the UDF. Uh, that's as simple as that. Now, if people want to work at this, then we need to get the situation where we have uh, yellow bins, people who are human rights observers, uh, monitors and all the rest of it. But that will have to be agreed by the people organising the protest. We're not organising, so we can't do it. Thank you for your time.